What's up guys, I'm back with another story. First of all, I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would really, really, really appreciate that. This week's story is a good, like inspirational, was my inspirational slash redemption story. Once again, if you like these stories, please share them with a friend. Also like them, leave them comment. But enough of that, let's get into this story. Not one, not two, but three picks in one game, man. Man, it was crazy. How many of y'all knew I caught three picks in one game, though? All right, but, but the title of this video is like my redemption story. So let me tell you why this is like my redemption story. Um, so two weeks earlier, we're playing Jacksonville Jaguars. It's the end of the game. Um, we're getting ready to go like the OT. So the score's tied. Um, they got one last play. It's the Hail Mary. So on this play, you know, I'm the jumper. So my job is to go up, knock the ball down so the other team can't catch it. On this particular play, Garrod drops back. He throws a beautiful ball that I could have easily, easily intercepted. But I tried to do what I was coached to do. I tried to do the right thing and just knock the ball down, right? That didn't end so well. Um, and it's such a lonely feeling like when you give up a touchdown, period. But like, especially when it's at the end of the game, right? And you lose the game. You know, I can remember Coach Kubiak calling me in his office, you know, in the locker room after the game. And just trying to tell me like, it wasn't my fault. Like it was just an unfortunate play. Um, and you hear him, you know, but it still felt awful, right? You go through the week and it's like, you're the joke of the week. You see the highlights on TV and like, nobody really wanted to bring it up. You know, but you know, like your friends saw it, your family saw it. Um, so it's just a weird feeling, man. But, you know, we move forward. You know, as a competitor, you want to get back on the field, right? So we get to the next game. We're playing the New York Jets, right? On the road again. Um, and I'm excited, right? We're playing the Jets. They got LaDainian Thomas and Brady Edwards, some good guys, right? So it's the end of the game. We win in this one. And, you know, they need a game-winning drive to, to try to come back and win this game. They get to, I think, the, around the 50-yard line, second and 10. You know, Sanchez steps up, makes a deep throw down the sideline, man, to Braden Edwards. And he catches it in the front of the safety. And boom, safety pushes it mighty on the six-yard line. So we call a timeout. And, like, now during this timeout, you know, I'm starting to have, like, flashbacks now, thinking about the week before and not wanting to – obviously give up another touchdown at the at the end of this game. Call comes in, it's zero blitz. Any slot corner note, you don't want to be in zero blitz, right? Your job in zero blitz is to protect the inside. As outside corner, it's cool because you got the sideline, you can just tuck inside. But as a slot guy, you got the inside, you got the outside, and there's so much room to the outside. And you're so close to the end zone, they catch the ball, it's probably going to be a touchdown, right? So, you know, I tuck inside, they come out, um, Santonio Holmes is in the slot. I line up on him. They run like a typical pick play or whatever. Boom, Santonio Holmes goes to the, to the corner. Sanchez drops the ball right in there. Boom, touchdown. We lose again, right? Lose again. And once again, I got that lonely feeling. Just there, 80,000 people screaming, cheering, and you feeling like you let the team down again. Um, but to make matters worse, in that game, you know, in the third quarter, I remember coming to the sideline feeling like, man, like my hand hurt, right? You know, and I just continued to play the game. I didn't want to take my glove off because I could feel like my hand swelling up inside of the glove. And so I didn't want to take my glove off, um, get after the game, I, you know, I ice it up and all that stuff. But I'm just like, man, my hand is, is hurting. So the next morning we come in and I go and get x-rays on it. And yes, I broke it. So now I've got a broken hand, and the doctor is like, okay, it's not going to require surgery, um, but you are going to have to wear a cast for a while. And, you know, if you play, you're going to have to play in this cast, um, and it's going to be painful. But if you can deal with the pain, then you can play. So now I'm faced with this, this dilemma, right? Two rough weeks back-to-back -back where I've caused my team to, to win, and now I'm tasked with going out to play with a cast on my hand as a corner. How can I help my team win with a cast on my hand as a corner? 
Um, and so going throughout the week, man, I'm, I'm feeling all these different things, you know, nervous, barely practicing, trying to keep my hand out of all contact, waking up early, trying to get as much treatment as I can, all these different things while still dealing with the Hail Mary loss, the, the, the loss to the Jets. Like, it's just a rough, rough week for me, rough stretch for me um, mentally, you know, really dealing with a lot of stuff. It's kind of like a downhill spiral. Everything seemed to be going, like, wrong for me. Um, but convinced myself that, you know, I had been doing what I was supposed to do. I just needed to maybe just execute it at a, at a higher level, like just, just do it a little bit better. So get to Sunday and I decided I'm, I was going to play, you know, but I told him I needed to get like a smaller cast. So I'm in the training room, I'm getting it like wrapped up, um, you know, getting ready to play. And I remember one of my teammates coming in and being like joking around, like, man, you're going to end up catching your, your first pick. You know, with a cast on your hand. Now, mind you, I had played 25 games. It's my second year, and I hadn't caught a pick yet. Um, so I just kind of laughed it off, but it kind of made me feel a little better because I felt felt like one of my teammates were like, you know, had my back. Um, so we get to the game, and we're playing great defensively. You know, we're stopping the run. First play of the second quarter, they backed up, and. As a DB, when the, when their offense is backed up, what you're thinking is run and shot, you know, and you definitely don't want to give up a 99-yard bomb. So me, I'm playing shot. My hand was hurt. I definitely want no parts of the run anyway. So comes out, quarterback throw the ball, and, like, it literally looks exactly like the Hail Mary ball, just floating in the air so pretty. And this time, you know, I'm dealing with, Man, is, is my hand gonna start hurting when I catch this ball? Like, am I gonna drop it because it, it, it hurt? I hadn't caught a ball throughout the week because my hand was jacked up. Um, but at that moment, I needed it. Like, I hadn't caught my first pick. It had been two rough weeks, so I was willing to deal with the pain to catch this ball. So I go up, I try to catch it with more of my left hand than my right hand, and I caught it. I had my first pick, man, and it was like such a great feeling to hear the crowd cheering for me. Um, it was awesome. Like, it's a feeling that I never forget. It's a play that I never forget. But we fast forward to the fourth quarter. We're pitching a shutout. Still, defense is still balling. And I done had a couple more breakups throughout the game. And they're down in the red zone. Quarterback tried to throw it to the flats late. And boom, I catch another pick. So now I done caught two picks in one game. I went 25 games without a pick. And now I done caught two picks in one game. So I'm just on the sideline. I'm just like, wow, man, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? They joking like, man, you should probably play with a cast every game, you know? And so it's funny. You know, you're having a good time. You know, it's nice to smile and, and laugh. And so we get to the end of the game, and they're still trying to score because they hadn't scored yet. And they're on a six-yard line. So as a DB, you can have, like, a great game, and it could turn bad really quick, right? So I'm sitting there hoping, like, man, please don't let me give up another touchdown at the end of this game. And no, we won't lose the game, but it'll still just kind of taint the date, right? So they're on a six-yard line, obviously kind of like the same spot of the San Antonio Holmes play. And coach calls a different play, and, you know, they try to hit the tight end over the middle. Kush comes in, tips the ball, and now the ball is, like, floating to the ground, and I see it. So with the hand that was broken, I kind of, like, go down and, like, scoop it up, right, to try to catch it. And I was able to get it and, like, turn and fall under with the ball. And, like, I had caught three picks in one game, right? So I'm laying on the ground. My teammates are, like, beat me up or whatever. I get up. I can hear the crowd, man. It's awesome. Like, it's, it's just a great feeling. And so... Um, come to the sideline, man, I'm just on cloud nine. Like, I just can't believe how things turned like this, how I went from feeling so awful at the end of the Jets game, the end of the Jacksonville game, to feeling so good at the end of the Texans game. It was a beautiful feeling. Um, so I wanted to share that story with you guys because I know you know, that's that's real life, right? You go through weeks, you go through times where it's tough and you feel like, you know, you can't do anything right. You feel like, you know, everything is spiraling downhill and you just want to stop, you know. Um, but hopefully this story will let you know that if you just stick with what you're doing, try to execute at a high level 
and you can come out of it. Your breakthrough, um, it'll come. And so, you know, one quote that uh, Coach Kubek used to always tell us is, it's the same distance from the doghouse to the penthouse and vice versa. And so I thought this right here was a true testament of that quote because I was in the doghouse for two weeks and in one game, you know, I went, in my opinion, to the penthouse. I caught three picks. So hope you guys enjoy this story, man. If you do, share it with a friend, man. Until next time, peace.